Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is going to be a February favorites and new things I'm going to be trying out for the month of March. I have stiff neck right now, so I can't actually ow, I can't actually bend my my neck to the right. So I'm going to be doing this the whole video maybe. So yeah, sorry about that. Ow, it hurts so bad. Ow. I have a bunch of new things I tried this month. A lot of these products surprised me and I have a lot of favorites. This is the Starbucks iced matcha with a, a pump of chai and oat milk. Mm. If you like chai, you will love this. I got this from Tony Sevdalis. If you don't like chai, just try a pump of white chocolate maybe, which my sister did and it's really good as well. Okay, so let's begin with my monthly favorites for February. The first is this Neutrogena body oil. I never used to get this because in my mind I'm like, I have oily skin and I'm acne prone, so I try to stay away from any oils. But oh my gosh, this is so good. You know how those super stay, the Maybelline super stay lipsticks are so hard to remove? This. This baby will help you with that. Also, the Lash Paradise, which I'm obsessed with, this will help you remove the whole thing. Like, this is really good. And it's so moisturizing, especially during the winter time. So you can use it to remove makeup, you can use it to moisturize, and it's just, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like a luxurious spa day. Just, it makes you smell expensive. And I really like it. I will definitely repurchase this. Another um, skincare product that I have been trying is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion S SPF 30. I am looking for moisturizers that have SPF because I want to protect my skin. I did go on a few rounds of Accutane and I did. I do have like redness. My, my acne is starting to come back. I don't know why. It's I'm relapsing immediately, which is weird. But I have been trying to protect my skin with SPF and I really like this one. It's lightweight, doesn't leave your skin greasy and you can wear it under makeup which is great. I'm actually wearing it under my makeup right now. It just makes me feel more moisturized and less, you know, dry. And um, I like that it has SPF and it's from CeraVe and I trust the brand. Paired with that, I also am trying this SA cleanser. I have been using it the whole of February but when you pump it out, it just gives you like a limited pump you don't really need so much this is the SA cleanser with salicylic acid as I mentioned I did just finish my Accutane my second round and I'm relapsing right away so it's weird um, so I've been trying this I like it but I haven't really seen so much of a difference now the cleanser I'll be showing you next that one seems to be working really really well compared to this but I'm not saying this is bad it's just not working um, for my acne the way I want it to. The thing I noticed that's working better is the Neutrogena one. So this is salicylic acid and this is benzoyl So my skin seems to be responding better using the benzoyl peroxide one versus the salicylic acid one but there are people who respond better to a salicylic acid versus benzoyl peroxide. The thing with benzoyl peroxide is you have to be careful because it might cause hyperpigmentation if you use it too much or if you don't use SPF. So I do like this a lot. I have just started using this. This is not necessarily my favorites of February because I just started using it like for a week and um, I already see a difference so that's kind of cool because it's just a cleanser but I've already seen a difference so it's creeping up there into my favorites might be in my March favorites I use this with its counterpart which is the daily leave-on mask this is kind of drying so after I use this I leave it on for about a minute and then I wash it off and then I put this it is kind of drying so I only use this once or twice a day and I make sure that I moisturize once it's like super dry and set this is also benzoyl peroxide um, infused infused Confused. I really like these two. I will update you at the end of March to see if um, I'm going to keep using it to see if it has improved my skin. I have a lot of cleansers. I am trying a lot. But this I use as my first cleansing step. So I, have, I am trying out this double cleanse thing. And the first cleansing is basically removing all the excess oils and makeup that you have on. The second cleansing is to actually cleanse the skin. So this is my first cleanse as opposed to those treatment cleanses with the 
salicylic acid and the benzoyl peroxide, which serves as my second cleanse. So I use this to remove my makeup. This is the oil-free acne wash. It is also by Neutrogena. I do like the Neutrogena lines. So this has salicylic acid and I don't really see that there's much of a difference to my acne per se but I do notice that it does really remove my makeup and I really do like it. I enjoy it. I've purchased this twice already. The first was like a foamy version, like when it, you, know, you like press it, it comes out as a foam. I can't find that version anymore, so I tried this instead. And I don't really see a difference between the foamy one and this one, so I think it is good. Another item that is also from Neutrogena that I have just started to use, so I'm kind of cheating here, is the Rapid Wrinkle Repair. This has retinol in it. I did hear about it from Dr. Dre, so I did purchase it. It was on sale at London Drugs. I am using it under my eyes, and I noticed that my eyes aren't as dry, my under eyes aren't as dry when I use this first as a base. So I do use this twice a day at nighttime and in the morning, especially nowadays during the autumn wintry season, it's nice to use because as the day progresses, I notice that my eyes, the, the lids, get they have like little specks of dry skin and it was, it's just like, no. And I tried using this for my eyes because I do want SPF protect my eyes, but I, I feel like it stings the whole day it just stings my eyes and I just go about doing this living like this because it, it really hurts I'm still trying to find a, an eye cream that has SPF that does not sting me I seem to like this I will update you again in March okay one thing that I have been using all um, February is the anti-breakage keratin oil this is by OGX this is the keratin conditioner I did try the argan oil conditioner and um, shampoo the teal color which I I did not like very much. It just leaves my hair super frizzy and I don't feel like it's really helping. Then I tried the keratin version and I fell in love. And then I noticed that they have a new version which is the keratin smoothing oil. I tried them both already and I feel like I kind of prefer this because this is supposed to be anti-frizz and I do notice that my hair is less frizzy when I use this. Again, I have to use it a little bit more to really tell because I have used this all throughout February. This one I'm just starting this March. I do like it but it's not a favorite. I'm gonna try this, see if it's better and I'll be updating you in March as well. Okay, I know that I've been talking about the Lash Paradise on my channel for so long because it is really that good. When you need a mascara that does not fade or flake, when you're doing strenuous activities, if you want to wear mascara in the gym or the pool, the beach, this is the mascara to go for but this is so hard to remove. If you're using it every single day, it gets a little irritating you don't really want to rub your eyes too much so I did try the Sky High mascara by Maybelline this one is super not waterproof so you can definitely wash it off and it will wash off while you wash your face what? this doesn't do too bad of a job I do have a video comparing both and I'll be linking it up here and you will see there are close-up pictures there you will see that this does flake or like smudge a little but it's just minimal i do like it it's not like the favorite favorite but i do like it and i am using this every single day i'm actually thinking of getting lash extensions it's just i see a lot of horror stories and i'm like i don't know i did try the lash perm it's great but i want a little bit more dramatic lash so i'm gonna try castor oil instead we'll see if that will work so for brows, I have a bunch of brow products here. I have been constantly using the Unbelievable Brow by L'Oreal, but it's not like super, it's not like a super favorite. There's a hair here. So I also have like all three colors of the Essence Make Me Brow gels. I do like it, but I just buy it because it's cheap and it's not bad. Then I found the e.l.f. Wow Brow and wow, it is... I like this. I really like it because it actually keeps my hairs up and these ones don't do that. This whole hype over like brow soap, I actually have a video on brow soap and I'll be linking it up here if you want to watch that. This actually is a good product. Like I am shocked at how affordable it is. I really like the brush as well and it, it has like these little fibers and it keeps your hair up. 
or wherever you want it directed to and I really like it. I love the packaging, it looks really expensive. Paired with this, I am loving the ultra precise brow pencil also by e.l.f. e.l.f has been slaying it. I don't know what shade it is because it's not in the it's not written anywhere it's a brown shade um and it's not super precise but i don't really find the need to have like a super super precise brow a bunch of nail products that i have talked about a lot on my channel are the h&m nail polishes so in particular they have these little polishes in the boxes that are like this is the big gel top coat and then this is like the pure matte top coat this is a really good pure matte top coat because i have tried other top coats before that make your nails matte and they're so drying this is not drying and i really like it but i did pick up two different shades i do love my neutrals this is in the shade kalahari which is are on my fingers today for me they're just my perfect nude um nail they're like beigey but pinky slightly on the pinky side but also beigey i love it and i also really like the perfect poise they're really opaque one layer is good if you want two it will make it even more opaque but one layer is good one thing that i have absolutely fallen in love with it fallen in one thing that I have absolutely fallen in love with is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in uh, Waterproof. I love the packaging. It's like little specks of water. It's, I love it when the brands do that for waterproof items. It's just so pretty and cute. I did get this uh, recommendation from Taylor when the tip is so fine and it's so like flexible but not too flexible. I was able to do this wing and it was so easy. Second to the last items are the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. I have three colors and I want to get all colors i am wearing um actually i'm wearing all of these on my lips today i did put moon which has this beautiful sparkly glitter and then i added some amber to make it a little bit more um brownie warm and then i added a little stone to make it a little bit less brownie warm i know i just really like it it's not sticky you know how those glosses in the past are super super sticky and your hair would just like stick on him and i mean your hair does stick on these glosses but not not terribly and i like how moisturizing they feel and how they look on the on the lips i'm actually hoping to get more i love the packaging as well they feel luxurious and oh look at this doe foot applicator it's like the concealer the tart shape tape concealer oh my gosh i forgot to mention concealer so these are the second to last items that i'll be mentioning today this is the elf hydrating camo concealer um, i have the shade light beige and light ivory i also had the shade fair warm but that it was too light for me so i gave it to my sister who's fairer than i am this is too dark light beige is too dark and light ivory is too peach so what i do is i mix both but for the whole of my face it's just too peach i did use this as foundation because i run out of my superstay foundation in my shade actually i don't have a shade i can never find my shade like i always have to mix two shades just to get my shade so i had to improvise and i used concealer and oh my gosh i don't think i'm gonna have to get the superstay foundation anymore because this is great maybe i'll try to get another color to, to fit my skin tone a little bit more but i really really like this these are full coverage and it looks really good i just don't know how long they'll be lasting on my skin so by the end of march i'll be able to tell you about that if it lasts on my skin really nicely or you know i'll be using it a little bit more but i am really impressed okay so the last item i'm gonna be talking about finally the last one is this hair curler this is from con air and it is a beautiful color like a rose gold or say pink this was 19.99 i was actually in the market looking for a curler that had this particular barrel all of the curlers were like 30 bucks 40 bucks and then oh on sale from 39.99 it's now 38.99 yay you save a dollar so then i saw this and i immediately picked it up because it was um the cheapest one out of all of them with the barrel size that i like that is um not like those tiny travel size ones you can i cannot use those and i really like this it heats up really nicely and i love the color i love how you when you make it stand it has this little thing that um makes it not touch whatever surface you're letting it 
like putting on putting it on it's a good purchase because it's not expensive and yeah finally i am done with my favorites and things that i'm going to be testing out for february and march thank you so much for joining me today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my channel and i hope to see you in my next one don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did comment down below what you'd like to see next and i'll see you in my next video bye